Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead Candy Roth. Very busy day yesterday. Uh, before, you know, I we'll get to our doctor's point, uh, doctor's appointments in a little bit because we both visited the doctor. I think uh, we'll do that. But I want to tell you before we do that, Candy, because I want to know how you're doing. I really do. Um... <laughs> My uh, parents, uh, did, by the way, my sisters did not ask for this. My parents yesterday, oh. they heard us talking about the uh, shirtless photo of your son. Yes, yes. And how I refuse to post it. I don't think it's appropriate for me to post. I don't want to post it. It's just not. I it's don't not, want you to post it. Right. And and, and inappropriate is the wrong word. Um, I don't it's think. Just a, it's not a terrible picture. He's shirtless. No. It's black and white. It's, right. It's you know, kind of artsy, but uh, uh, no. Right. Well, the reason I, I meant inappropriate in a way like you don't want it posted. And I don't think on our radio station page I should be putting up your son with no shirt on. I don't no, know. Just I don't th- either. Right. So uh, my father says, can you send us the picture? We're not going to riot. You know, they're on Instagram, but he's like, just I don't want to go to his page. Just send us the picture. OK, I so understand. I send the picture. And uh, you know my father's uh, sense of humor, Candy. He writes back immediately. He says, needs a razor and some oil. (laughs) 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 Now, a couple things. He followed that up. Oh, goodness, help me. He he followed that up by saying, I think he looks great. Okay. Okay. He okay. was he was joking about the razor and the oil, but you know I know if Evans listening, Evans like, oh my god, now I gotta shave, I gotta shave, I gotta <laughs> shave, shave some of my hair. Chest, do you think that's good? Will that make me look better? What do you mean oil? I don't want my skin to shine. Oh boy. Yeah. So anyway, he. Uh, that's very funny. Please tell me your mother had no comment, please. No, my mother didn't say anything. That was all oh, my thank dad. Goodness. All right. And and, uh, and she knew better. She knew better than to mess with a mama, mama and her uh, baby cub. You know. <laughs> uh, but I, I will say that my father said, "Oh, he's very handsome. He very looks very good." So uh, he is handsome and he looks yeah. good. But I don't want to see pictures like that, and I don't want him posting pictures like that. I don't know why. I, I, it's something about, like, he's my baby, and I don't want to see him that way. Yeah, I get it. I completely get it. Candy, uh, in a little bit, maybe 748, we'll discuss both our doctor's appointments, but I wanted to tell you, I am a true tennis dad now. I am a real tennis dad. Now, what does that mean, that you're, like, yelling at the ref? No, no, no. That I don't mean in that way. I'm letting... I don't I don't get involved in the matches, Candy. Uh, All right. But... After Leah's tennis match yesterday, um, who, by the way, she played like the best player on their team, who was an absolute animal, Candy, an absolute animal. I hope she's all right. Yeah, no, she's fine. My daughter's fine. But she played, I mean, this girl looked like she's been playing and taking lessons for quite some time. It was it was one of those. Uh, But, you know, but Leah takes it in stride. She uh, she 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 would rather play someone like that and watch them and and learn how to play tennis you know what you i know, mean my son was a wrestler it doesn't have anything to do with that but he felt the same way he said i want to wrestle the best why would right. i want to wrestle someone not that good just to win that's not what i'm looking to do agreed that's what leah said so here's what i mean by being a tennis dad after um the match she's been complaining for a few days that she doesn't have real tennis sneakers um she's got this pair of sneakers she's wearing but i could tell they're a little flip floppy and she's not you know she, it's not real tennis sneakers. So anyway, she goes, can you take me for sneakers? So we went to Tanger Outlet. We went to a couple different stores. Uh, we went to Nike Outlet. Then we went to Dick Sporting Goods. She ended up finding a real pair of Nike tennis sneakers, which fit great. She loves. She's got those now. Then we bought a whole bunch of tennis balls and one of those tennis hoppers that you put the balls in, Candy. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And I said, all right, now we got the balls and the hopper. So on the weekend, I could take you to the court and we could practice and you could call, uh, you know, one of your friends, too, if you want to play. We got plenty of balls. We got we got the hopper. So I'm a real tennis dad now, Candy. Oh, and a very yeah. sweet one at that. That was so nice of you. Trying. I'm trying to uh, trying make this very happen. very hard. <laughs> yes. Yes. Thank you. Uh, Candy, we're going to have beautiful weather today. Speaking of which, my daughter has a tennis match. It's supposed to be 70 today. 
candy. Amazing. I think he's one of those cute little tennis skirts that they no, wear. No, no. No, she I doesn't. I love need... those little tennis outfits. Now wait till wait till she's playing at the U.S. Open. She doesn't need a cute little tennis skirt right now. Okay. All wait right. The, the the sweatpants and the t-shirt will do just Today's fine. Today's too hot for sweatpants. <laughs> I'd, she'll wear shorts. She'll wear Thank shorts. Thank you, today. Dad. My country, ninety six point one. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays six to ten a.m. on My Country, ninety six point one.